Hello there and welcome to the series of videos going through the content of A-level further maths. Here we're looking at the modulus and argument of a complex number so we can answer questions from exercise 2b. So we've seen the modulus in a previous video and what is the argument? Let's have a look then. So we're taking these from complex numbers um, and it's really useful to have drawn these numbers on a argand diagram before we start the problem. So let's first draw 4 plus 5i on an argand diagram. So 4 plus 5i is going to be up here. Now the first problem is to find the modulus. And the modulus of this complex number 4 plus 5i here is the straight line distance between the origin and your complex number. So all we need to do there is a little bit of Pythagoras' theorem. And it's always Pythagoras' theorem. 4 squared plus 5 squared and we get the square root of 41, and if we needed to, we could write it out to two decimal places of 6.40. Now the next part is to find the argument of z, um, uh, the argument of 4 plus 5i, which is slightly more difficult. Now the argument is the angle from the positive real axis, so it's always this axis here, even if it's on this side of the diagram, it's always from this um, angle, this this line here, round to the complex number um, of your line, okay? The line of your complex number, okay? So all we need to do here is work out this little angle theta in here. Now we've got a right angled triangle, so it should be fairly straightforward. We've got the opposite and we've got the adjacent on the sides. So substitute in those values and then do an inverse tan and we're always working in radians here. Now, if you haven't seen radians, uh, have a look at a previous video. Um, but, uh, but this is what you would get. So make sure your calculator is in radians mode. Tan minus 1 of 5 over 4. And we get 0 0.90 radians to two decimal places. Okay. So it's positive if it's up on the top part of the argon diagram. And it's going to be a negative value if it was down the bottom. Let's have a look at uh, a different type of uh, question here. We've got minus 2 plus 4i. Now, as I said before, the difficulty is not going to be necessarily in the modulus. Most people are comfortable with that, but it's going to be in the argument. Now, the argument is always, 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 always measured from this line here. Just because it's on the left-hand side doesn't mean it's measured from here, but we are going to maybe use this angle here and then do maybe pi minus it, pi being 180 radians, 180 in radians. So let's work on the Pythagoras bit first, the, um, the modulus of this complex number here. It's going to be using Pythagoras' theorem. Now even though, yes, it's 2 to the left, so you can think of it as minus 2 as a coordinate, the distance on this triangle is only 2. And when we use Pythagoras' theorem, it's only on triangles with positive lengths. So just use the positive value for 2 along the bottom, and then 4 up the side. So 2 squared plus 4 squared, and 2 decimal places is 4.47. Okay, so that's the modulus of the complex number. Now let's look at the argument of the complex number. As I said, it's always measured from this real line here. So what might be useful is to measure this angle theta here first, but really our final answer is going to be whatever this angle here is. Let's call it alpha. Okay, so let's first work out this angle here then. So theta um, is going to be tan minus 1 of opposite over adjacent. So opposite is 4, adjacent is 2. So tan minus 1 of 4 over 2 is 1.11. But remember, that's not the angle that we're looking for here. The angle that we're looking for is this angle round from the real positive axis. So we're going to need to do pi minus 1.11. The reason we're using pi is because that's 180 degrees. So pi minus 1.11 is 2.03. And that's your final answer. So the modulus is 4.47, your radian, your argument is 2.03 radians. 
Okay, it's really helpful to draw a diagram out when you're working out this modulus and um, argument. Uh, just for the first 10, maybe, until you get used to it, draw out the diagram so you can see what's going on. All right, and let's have a look at a more difficult one. Now, the reason it's more difficult is because it's very, very negative. It's minus 3 minus 3i. So once again, plot it out on your argon diagram. Draw a line to it, and it's going to be the straight line distance between the origin and z. So it's 3 squared plus 3 squared. Yes, it's minus 3, and it's minus 3i, but we're working out a Pythagoras distance on a triangle. Triangles only have positive lengths, so it's 3 and 3. So 3 squared plus 3 squared is 3 root 2. And then r is going to equal 4.24. OK, so that's the distance here. If you were to measure this, the distance would be 4.24. Uh, that's the modulus. Now let's go for the argument. Now, generally speaking, if you're well, always speaking, rather, if your complex number is on the top of your argon diagram, that makes the argument positive. But if it's on the bottom of your argon diagram, that's going to make it negative so we don't get confused. So it's going to be the negative angle of whatever the angle is between here and here, because remember it's always measured from the real positive axis, always this axis here. So it's going to be whatever this angle here is, the negative of it. So the first thing we need to do is work out this theta angle in here. So tan again, it's always going to be tan in this case here, Opposite over adjacent, so 3 over 3. Notice here how it's always the imaginary part over the real part. And yes, although it's, um, although it's minus 3 on the coordinate, I'd still only use 3 as a value of a positive distance. So never get negatives mixed up in these sorts of questions. Just use the positive values of 3. So 3 over 3, tan minus 1 of that, and we get pi by 4 radians. Now that's the angle inside here. What we're looking for actually is the argument. So it's this angle round from here. Okay, so take that away from pi and we get 3 pi by 4. But again, another step to this question is that we're going to have to make that 3 pi over 4 negative because it's on the bottom of the argon diagram. So we, we don't confuse the top and the bottom of the argon diagram. So the argument here is going to be minus 3 pi by 4. So in general, if your argument is positive, you're looking on the top half of the argon diagram. If your argument is negative, you're looking on the bottom half of the argon diagram. The modulus here is always going to be positive because it's just a Pythagoras distance length. All right, then, so your turn to have a go at these questions here. Pause the video and try them out. All right, then, so let's have a go at the first one here, then. So the argument of 12 plus 5i, plot a diagram, 12 across 5 up. So it's 12 along, 12 along the base here, and 5 going up. So the first thing we need to do here is a bit of Pythagoras distance. So this is just going to be the square root of 12 squared plus 5 squared, which gives us an answer of 13. Now, it doesn't have any units on this so far. It's just 13. Now, for the argument, what we're going to use is the angle inside here, because this is the real positive axis, so it's just this simple angle inside here. And the argument for z is going to be tan minus 1. And it's always going to be the imaginary part over the real parts, because that's the opposite and this is the adjacent. So 5 over 12. So now grab your calculator and do five, tan minus 1 of 5 over 12. And we get 0 0.39 to two decimal places. 0 0.39 radians. Radiance doesn't have a little circle on the top, it has a little C actually. So the modulus is 13, the, the argument is 0 0.39.
Let's have a go at 1C now, moving across to here. So draw yourself out an argand diagram again, and it's going to be minus 3 plus 6i, so it's going to be up here. Now that modulus is going to be this distance here, so it's going to be 3 squared plus 6 squared. Notice here how I've dropped the minus on the 3, because it's just a unit, it's just a distance. It's 3 across, 6 up, and that's all I need to work out the pos the um, that's all I need to work out the distance um, to my complex number. And as a third, this is going to be 3 root 5. My preference is to leave modulus as a third form. The next thing we need to do now is work out the argument. Now the argument is going to be from the real positive axis here, round to my complex number. And seeing as it's on the top half of the diagram, it's going to be a positive value. So it's going to be, well, let's work out this angle here first. So theta is going to be tan minus 1 of, and it's always opposite, which is 6, over adjacent, which is 3. So tan minus 1 of 6 over 3, which is 1.11. Now, that's not the final answer to the argument. The argument is, remember, always measured from the real positive axis. So it's pi minus this value here. So let's click pi minus answer, and we get 2.03. Little c at the top there to represent radians, and that's our final answer. So we've got a modulus of 3 root 5 and an argument of 2.03. The next one here is in a slightly different position on the argand diagram. This is 2 across and 2 down. So it's going to be a unit, so it's going to be a distance from here to here. 2 minus 2i. So first of all, the modulus is just going to be the Pythagoras distance between the origin and our complex number. And remember, we're not going to use the negative on the negative 2i because it's only a distance. 2 along, 2 down, those are the two numbers we need. And the answer here is going to be 2 root 2. And for the argument, now because it's on the bottom half of the diagram, it's going to be a negative value. But let's work out what this theta angle here is first. It's going to be tan minus 1 of opposite. So that's 2 over adjacent, which is 2. So tan minus 1 of 2 over 2, which is pi by 4. Now remember, because it's on the bottom, my final answer for the argument of z is going to be minus pi by 4, so that I don't confuse it with the complex number that's up here that has an argument of pi by 4. So it's just our way of distinguishing whether it's above the real axis or below the real axis. Okay, and the final one here is minus 8 minus 7i. So minus 8 to the right, minus 7i downwards. So this is 8 on this axis, 7 on this axis, or minus 7 really, but in these sorts of problems here we don't need the negative really. So 8 squared plus 7 squared is the value of the modulus. So 8 squared plus 7 squared is the square root of 113, can't simplify that. And now we need to work out the arguments. Now let's first work out this theta angle in here. That's going to be z tan minus 1 of, and it's always imaginary over real, so 7 over 8 here. So let's work that out. Tan minus 1 of 7 over 8, which is 0.72. Now that's not our final answer. What we need to do next is work out this angle round here. The reason we need to do that is because the argument is always measured from the real positive axis. So now we need to do pi minus 0 0.72, which is going to give us an answer of pi minus 0 0.72, 2.42. But neither that is the final answer. Because it's on the bottom of the diagram, it needs a negative in front of it. So it's actually minus 2.42 as the final answer for the argument of minus 8 minus 7i. 
So that's all we need to do for that problem there. We've got all the arguments. The symbol that we use for modulus is a Z in between two vertical lines. So that is the symbol we're going to use for modulus. All right then, so there we are. That's the answers to these questions here on exercise 2B. Please do go ahead and uh, practice some more of these questions in exercise 2B. Uh, persevere through the difficult ones and make sure you follow it step by step. Okay, don't try and rush these problems um, and try and pick out rules for in which quadrant it is. Um, just follow the diagram and follow the, uh, follow the instructions. All right then, thanks very much for watching.